Tommy, Allie, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I'll take it from here where, yes, the deadline is rapidly approaching. And so Tommy is here and he brought with some friends yes. this morning, uh, some people who you convinced to get up early and come in. But you know what? We're all in the holiday spirit now. We're in the Christmas spirit. I actually glanced at a few of the entries yesterday and, you know, I'm in the zone right now. And I know there's a lot of viewers right now or pro probably watching that are hurting that are going through something right now. And that's why we're here to remind you, you need to go to the website or hit that QR code, go to KUSI.com, go to the contest area, and then tell us about a family, even if it's you, that's, you know, struggling. You know, you know we're all kind of struggling, but if, if you aren't able to maybe even buy a gift for your kids, you know, please send us a little letter. If you're trying to figure out how to survive because you just lost your job, you know, please send us a letter. And we do one on the air, which is Saturday, December 9th, right here on KUSI starting at six. But we do, when it's all over, we do take care of a, a mini off the air with some of my friends and family. And, uh, and you, you, yeah. you and uh, Trevor have taken care of some families off the air. And it's a beautiful thing. And I think, you know, yes, they say it's a San Diego tradition, but it, it's the spirit. It's the spirit of San Diego during the holidays and during Christmas. And that's what this is all about. Yeah, it's helping those members in our community who really need it. Now, yeah. I want to make sure I introduce everybody here. For, yes. Okay, tell me your name. How you doing? I'm Vince Gervais. And Vince, tell me a little bit, why did you decide to get involved in this? Uh, I've, I've been to over 20, maybe 25 of these. Um, when, we grew know, up together. We grew up together. Yeah. When Tommy calls, you know, you, you, you respond. He's always there when we need him. Um, and uh, so uh, this is an awesome thing. I am uh, like him from Chula Vista, uh, mm -hmm. uh, mother, uh, single mom. And she struggled all year long and when I was a kid. Uh, but my Christmases were amazing. And uh, showing up uh, Christmas morning and seeing the presents flowing is a special feeling when you're a kid. The spirit of of Christmas. Uh, so I understand Tommy uh, when he, uh, the feeling he had with the, book, the box of balls. Yeah. And, uh, and I want to be a part of this as small as it is. And, and speaking me. of what he just said, flowing, uh, Vince used to have flowing long hair. Just so you know. <laughs> yeah, it's something so special. And tell me your name. I'm Marcy McCowan. I am the racing realtor. Yeah. And tell me, what, what makes t little Tommy's breaking and entering so special? Why be involved? Well, this is my first year, so I am thrilled to be a new elf on the team. And when uh, little Tommy reached out to me, I, it was an absolute yes. So I'm super excited to be part of such an amazing effort in our community. Yeah. Hi. How Hi. are you doing? Good. Good. I'm Michelle Beal. Yes. And Michelle, I know that you did nominate one year and you yes. were, you know, we went and we talked to you yes. and were involved in the process. What makes this so special and why is this so good for the community of San Diego? So from my perspective, because I did nominate, it was not a traditional nomination. It was actually 50 students. So it was an entire school. And for me, it was life changing. It was life changing to see the kids faces and for the kids to get an understanding that it wasn't just about them it was about a community coming together which is ultimately what this is about even through that we were able to establish like relationships with community members last year i know there was another family but because of some of those relationships that we built people reached back out to me and said hey do you still have kids there? Can we come and help? There's a mm. lady in North County. Her name is Bryn. We call her Bryn and uh, the North County Angels. They came out and they all year long, they continued to do things for us. So when we, when the kids get that and they feel that, it literally lets them know that there's hope, that there's hope for something better. And for that very moment, what really was impactful for me, and I think you were there, if I'm not mm -hmm. mistaken, there was not a dry eye in the yeah. house. Um, for that moment, they got to just be kids. They yeah. got to not think about all the other struggles. And I think that's when I see last year, I saw it live on uh, as well. At that moment, it kind of like the worries that you have about how am I going to pay for this? How am I going to do that? How am I going to do that? Just for that moment, you get to go back to what the holiday season is about. It's about giving and it's about caring and it's about helping each other. And that's what we do. Tommy's amazing. Tommy just beyond the breaking and entering, he does a lot for, I could say, our counselor association mm -hmm. because he's a Castle Park grad. 
Yeah. So he's still true to the roots down there in Sweetwater. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, uh, no no stranger to KUSI, but, it, but Chief, talk a little bit about, I know you've helped ha families, some of the other families that need help, that yes, there's the one on air, but you are uh, have gone and gone above and beyond to help our community. The men and women of the fire service have been collecting money and presents for quite some time. And we'll identify through Tommy's help and through our own working with the schools within Spring Valley and San Miguel to try to identify two or three different families that really need that hand up this year. Last year we were, we were able to help three families and we brought over Christmas presents. We even brought a tree to one of the houses. And as a matter of fact, we even were able to get a bathtub to a family that couldn't even take showers because their bathtub was just completely destroyed. So we're about trying to help people this time of the year and we're really blessed to do that. Well, Tommy, you bring everybody together to get involved in this. So it's once cool. again, how can people nominate? How can they get involved in this? There's a QR code that hopefully you'll see, but also just go to KUSI.com, KUSI.com, and go to the contest area, and that's where you can tell us about a family in need. But if you're someone that wants to help, like all of my friends here, you can email me, littletommy at KUSI.com, littletommy at KUSI.com. But uh, we want those entries. We want to help out San Diego. And we want to bring the spirit of the holidays, the spirit of Christmas to KUSI that morning. So write down Saturday morning, December 9th, right at 6 a.m. Allie, I believe you're going to be there. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's going to be emotional. It's going to be fun. And uh, we're going we're gonna to take care of a family. It is one of the best days of the year, and I think it really does bring the spirit of Christmas home, as you yes. say. So once again, you can go to the QR code. Tommy, great to see you. Great to have you all here this morning. We appreciate you taking the time.